This segment is about some of the decisions that are made in the context of managed withdrawal. These decisions relate to the appropriate setting for withdrawal, but more importantly to aftercare planning. This is because interventions to manage withdrawal on their own are not sufficient to support sustained behavioural change. The primary aim of managed withdrawal is to enable the process of withdrawal to be completed safely and in reasonable comfort. But there is a secondary aim of engaging clients in further treatment so that managed withdrawal does indeed become a stepping stone along the recovery pathway. In the previous segment, we looked at the inpatient services for managing withdrawal and used our case study, EDI, to walk through the experience of managed withdrawal in an inpatient setting. In this segment, I'm going to talk more about EDI, but in general context of the critical decisions of withdrawal and aftercare planning. When making decisions about withdrawal management and aftercare, consideration is given to three aspects. Firstly, history of substance use. What sort of drugs, how much were they taking, for how long, and history of previous withdrawal attempts. Secondly, circumstances of the individual, their social supports, other health problems, cognitive capacity, and finally, the immediate goals of the person. Let's look at our case study, Eddie, to expand on these aspects.